So you may have noticed that the price of chocolate has gone up over the last couple of years. And here in Oxford, we did some research on cocoa production, and there are five key reasons that we found that the price of cocoa has gone up and down over the last few years. So the first reason is the recent El Nino um, oscillation that we had. It was basically a drier and warmer year than usual, and both low water availability and high temperatures are bad for cocoa yield. So with a low yield, then the price went up. The second reason is climate change. 2024 was the hottest year on record, according to climate experts. And again, with the high temperatures is bad for cocoa yield. With a low yield, again, the price went up. The third reason is that cocoa is a tree crop rather than an annual crop. And that means that farmers have a long-term investment and they're less able to respond really quickly to market changes. The fourth reason is the US trade tariffs. There was a blanket tariff that affected cocoa beans directly. And then there were specific tariffs on European chocolate exports into the US, which drove up chocolate prices. And there were also trade tariffs on China affecting the packaging that's produced there, which also drove up the price of chocolate. The last point is about the relationship between cocoa production and gold production, particularly in Ghana. As the trade tariffs drove the cocoa prices up and then down, there was a lot of volatility. People in the markets in general were retreating into precious metals and particularly gold. And because in Ghana, people produce both cocoa and gold, farmers started to move out of the volatile cocoa market and to sell off their land for gold mining. And the knock-on effect of that is both reduced production of cocoa, which drives up prices, but also environmental impacts from the production of gold. 